What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a brand new football discussion video and I would love to hear your opinion on this one and because I was like what the F are we doing when I heard that Jurgen Klopp wants to send Mamadou Sakho out on loan? If you don't really want him, just sell him and bring in a defender that you fancy more. And the, this video will be my opinion on the whole situation and also on Liverpool's transfer uh, so far and what needs to be done until the end of the transfer window to make Liverpool serious top four contenders. But I also want to hear your opinion. Let me know in the comments below. I will read through your comments and to reply to the most interesting ones. So reports are coming in. Uh, Paul Joyce, journalist who is working for The Guardian and who is pretty reliable, said in his article that Jurgen Klopp is believed to be willing to send Mamadou Zako on loan before the end of the transfer window after, you know, a troublesome few months for Sako and I understand that Sako hasn't played a competitive match since April the 20th but surely playing him in the League Cup would be the perfect opportunity to bring him back into the squad to give him some confidence. Sako had a really uh, troublesome past few months. Uh, first he was wrongly accused of uh, using illegal drugs, illegal substances. Uh, thankfully what he was cleared of that. But then he committed three major offenses in pre-season. He turned up late for the flight out to uh, the USA to Liverpool's pre-season tour. Second, he turned up late for a team meal. And third, he, fa he failed to turn up for a treatment session, to a treatment session for the Achilles injury that he was suffering from. And now he's back in training. Something must be going on behind the scenes because uh, He's one of my favorite players at Liverpool and he's one of our best defenders. Maybe not the best now that we have Joao Matip, but Matip is not Premier League proven. He will be short in centre-back options. Jurgen Klopp didn't allow Lucas to leave for Galatasaray and I think this is the main reason. Because we only have Klavan, Lovren and Matip at the moment. And if Zako goes out alone, then we are, we are short because to play Lucas and Joe Gomez in the Premier League is a recipe for disaster. What is Jurgen Klopp trying to achieve with sending Mamadou Sakho out on loan? In my opinion, this could be about authority. Maybe he thinks that uh, Mamadou Sakho has a bad influence around the squad. Maybe he thinks that he needs to teach Mamadou Sakho a lesson to make him more disciplined, more committed. But surely a better option would be just to talk one-on-one -on -one with Sako and explain to him what is required. To send him out on a short loan, I'm not sure how that helps Sako. And uh, there are reports already coming in. For, for example, the Daily Mail already put up an article this morning that Sunderland rejected a loan deal for defender, Liverpool defender Mamadou Sakho. So we, it looks like we already offered Sakho to Sunderland on loan. Maybe it was just for a short loan. I'm not sure if there is still there are still short loans in the UK. Let me know what are the loan rules for English football for the Premier League. It looks like that David Moyes wants Papi Giloboji to play on the left side of his center defense. And why on earth would Liverpool want to send Sako on loan to Sunderland? No disrespect, but Sunderland play completely different style of football to what Liverpool are playing under Jurgen Klopp. So surely we should send out some of Mamadou Sako to maybe a club like, like Swansea or a club who or, or a club like Bournemouth, but I'm not sure. I, I still think that Sako is a brilliant defender and on his day, he is, he is very, very good. And yes, he is prone to making mistakes, but surely to give him confidence and uh, to get him back to his best would be to start him in the League Cup, to start him in the Premier League against maybe the smaller teams. Because I think Sako is better than Lovren, in my opinion, and I would want a Matip Sako or a Klavan Sako par centre back partnership for Liverpool. But we only have a first choice right back Klein and the first choice left back Moreno, and we don't have cover in those positions. We have uh, some youngsters like Joe Gomez who hasn't 
played football for over a year. We have Alexander Arnold, who is a young player. He can't play in the Premier League, and surely all the teams will target our defense. And we already, we have already seen that our defense is not good enough again. And we have conceded about 50 goals per Premier League season in the past three seasons which is just disgraceful for a club like Liverpool who wants to get back into the Champions League. Jurgen Klopp uh, strengthened in a lot of areas but he didn't really strengthen the defense as much as I would have liked and if he sends out Sako um, then we will be even worse off in defense. I mean teams will target our left back Moreno. I just cannot understand why Jurgen Klopp hasn't signed the player yet in the in the left back or the right back spot because he actually said before the preseason started that he wants to have his squad completed and ready before the before the season the Premier League season kicks off. The Premier League season is well on the way, two matches already have been played and our squad is not completed yet, in my opinion. So yeah, let me know what is your opinion, I still think that we need the left back and Liverpool conceding so many goals, I think one of the main reasons for that is that we don't have an out and out proper defensive midfielder who can shield the defense because it's all well and good playing high pressing, high counter pressing, gig and pressing football but when teams play through that high pressing our defense is left completely exposed and especially when Moreno and Klein are bombing, bombing forward to give width to the team then our defense is left exposed if we lose the ball and that's exactly what happened against Burnley that's exactly what happened so many times in uh, past seasons against smaller sides. You just have to look at um, what kind of results we got. Watford 3-0 loss, Newcastle 2-0 loss and I could go on and on and on about Liverpool conceding too many goals against smaller sides because we don't have a proper protector, a proper shield in front of the defense because make no mistake uh, Lovren and Klavan and Matip, they are decent defenders, but they need help and to base our whole season on Emre Can staying fit and protecting the season, protecting the defense is foolish in my opinion because Emre Can couldn't start the first two games and we shipped five goals, we conceded five goals in the first two games and we only had seven shots on target against us. So basically Mignolet faced seven shots on target and he let in five goals and I'm not blaming Mignolet for all the goals because for example against Burnley I don't think it was more the defense's fault. Let me know what do you think about this? What is the motive behind Jurgen Klopp doing this? I trust Jurgen Klopp if we don't sign a left back and a defensive midfielder and we don't finish in the top four. It will be so incredibly frustrating because because I think we are very close to challenging the top four sides. We just need a better defense because this Liverpool team ha can score goals on any given day. But if our defense is vulnerable, if there is a, not a proper defensive midfielder protecting the back four, we will be exposed on the counter attack. We, we will concede a lot of goals, drop a lot of points. And ultimately that could cost us a place in the Champions League and that is vital for the progress of this club. So let me know what do you think about this in the comments below and thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this. See you later guys, goodbye!